Happy Saturday, everybody. I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Callen here with a look at your forecast. A total washout today. Good news, though. Rain chances are going to go down for us as we go through the rest of the holiday weekend. Not going to be totally dry, but also not going to be a washout. So the rain wraps up for us this evening. The highest chances the next two days will mainly be towards the coast as this wave of energy pushes farther to the south, which means we're not talking about a washout for Sunday and Labor Day on Monday. Forecast temperatures a little bit warmer as a result will probably be around 90 degrees. Degrees. It will be mainly cloudy though for Sunday. So even though it's a drier day, it's not necessarily a sunnier day. And again, the best rain chances will be to the south. For Monday, I think it's more of a mix of sunshine and clouds with scattered storms in the forecast as we get into the afternoon. This is the reason why that black dashed line that indicates that wave of energy that brought us the rain chances today. That slides south tomorrow. So notice all of the green kind of goes with it. The focus for rain chances mainly south of 59, south of I-10 as we get into Sunday. And then for Monday, the core of that moisture is offshore, so we just get the typical daily afternoon storm chances as we get into Labor Day. So here's how it plays out for Sunday. Again, south of 59, south of I-10, that you get a 50 to 60% rain chance as we go through the entire day. For areas north of that, so north of 59, north of I-10, downtown included, it's about a 30 to 40% chance with afternoon pop-up downpours and thunderstorms looking likely. And so because of that, the focus for any flooding tomorrow is going to be, again, for mainly our coastal spots. So Matagorda, Brazoria, Galveston, and Chambers County. I think everyone else has a very low-end chance. That would come into play if you get one or two slow-moving downpours that move over an area that had a lot of rain today, so the ground is really saturated. That's the flood threat as we get into tomorrow. So here's future track tomorrow morning, maybe a few showers around town. Again, better chances down here at the coast as we get into the afternoon. A few spotty downpours and thunderstorms possible around the city points north. I think future track is underdoing it. I think we'll probably see a little more coverage than this, but the shower chances are really going to be pretty consistent here at the coast through the evening. Maybe a few thunderstorms after dark tomorrow, and then the overnight is going to be dry Monday. Here we go. We start off with a lot of cloud coverage, maybe a few showers at the coast, but notice by the middle of the day, we're mainly looking dry. In fact, sunshine could be in the forecast for a lot of spots north and west of town. So I think Labor Day is looking a lot more salvageable than it was the last few days. This system looks to move a little bit quicker out of the area. And then maybe a few afternoon thunderstorms or downpours on Monday. But again, nothing out of the ordinary for what we would normally see this time of year. So the flood threat on Monday really just hugs the coast and it shifts farther to the south following that wave of energy again down into the uh, southern Gulf of Mexico. I got to tell you, the rainfall that we've gotten lately has made a huge improvement, a huge dent in the drought conditions. This is where we were in early August. Notice where all of that darker red shading is indicating the highest levels of drought. Now look at it. Just a few small patches through the hill country, occasional patches through north and central Texas, but really a remarkable improvement from where we were just a month ago, especially for us here in southeast Texas, where the drought has really started to diminish. In the tropics, quickly, we've got two storms, Tropical Storm Earl, in the western Atlantic, that's expected to curve out to sea towards Bermuda by the uh, middle of the week. And then Tropical Storm Danielle expected to restrengthen into a hurricane, but move out towards the north Atlantic. So tropics are quiet. There's the seven-day forecast. Again, a lot of clouds for tomorrow, about a 40% scattered chance for showers and storms. Monday looks okay. We'll keep the cloud coverage in there for now. We may even see more sunshine as we get into the forecast tomorrow, we'll have to fine tune it. But again, both days, about a 40% rain chance and then more sunshine into the upcoming week. Temperatures back to the low 90s with rain chances between 40 and 50%.